And what do we learn this morning? What's the new new with Mr. Savings' comments in the last hour? The new new is he won't give us a whole lot of detail on where these job cuts are coming from. Yeah. This morning, the 18,000 people, uh, where, yeah. where are they coming from? The equities desks are only thousands, so where else are we seeing them is a big question. Okay, let's dive into a discussion on this so we can do this with Allison Williams. Your work in the last 48 hours has been extraordinary. And what I love about your work, and you did this for Payne Weber and Morgan Stanley for years, is you're always doing it dynamically. The other banks will respond to Deutsche Bank's challenges, won't they? Well, and to some degree, so they're exiting the equities business. To some degree, the market has sort of made that decision for them over the last uh, few years, especially in the prime brokerage mm -hmm. business. I think that the question that we have is, you know, how big is this smaller targeted focus equities effort that you're keeping, right? Because mm -hmm. there's this big headline, global equities exit. Yeah, it's her fault. The big then, headline's from Sinali. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's, um, but, you know, we're going to keep some, you know, we, right. we're going to keep enough so that we can support our other businesses. We want to support M&A, ECM. We're going to keep equity research. We're going to keep macro Everything's research. Everything's wonderful. We're going to stay in Asia. We're going to stay in, let's bring it up. Allison Williams here okay. with Neil Sipes and what they were doing uh, this weekend. Let's try to look yeah. at this. Uh, in an evolving global landscape that increasingly favors largest competitors, MIFID II reforms have meant accelerate. This is, how, this is how people talk in the industry, folks. I don't have a word what she's saying. <laughs> Peer results, including those of Morgan Stanley and J.P. Morgan, are likely benefiting from growing commission concentration, while Citigroup's concerted effort to ascend in equity trading ranks has paid off. And yet the headlines from her are, we're going to stay in Asia, we're going to stay in New York, baloney. <laughs> Well, I think it's 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 a broad story, right? So Prime Brokerage, we talked a little bit about cash equities, which is one of the things we're referring to there, is a business where there have been changes, um, MIFID II reforms, which took place about, or went into effect about 18 months ago. And what we've seen is more concentration commissions at the top. And a few years ago, we had Citi and we had Deutsche Bank say, look, we have smaller businesses. We know you have to be in the very top to compete, to make money. We're going to get there. Citigroup has made progress, um, and Deutsche Bank has made less progress, and I think that is what has led to the decision. And I, and I think, by the way, you know, Sewing had to do something big, he had to do something important. There was a lot of talk about exiting the U.S. altogether, like exiting the U.S. IB, and I think perhaps the product exit versus the regional exit is probably the right move here, right? Because, uh, you know, U.S. and Asia are the growing regions, so to sort of step away from those altogether and just focus on Europe is, is sort of a tough slog. Um, Sonali, what's your take on when we know whether this works or not? The, the, the share price was a little bit funny today. It was up, then it was down. But how much time will investors give Deutsche Bank to see whether this is enough? Deutsche Bank is outlined for themselves 2022, but I don't. who knows if investors will give them that long. We don't know what's going to happen between now and then as far as the economy goes. And remember, even their targets for 2022 are ambitious for Deutsche Bank, as people say, but not ambitious overall with an 8% return on tangible common equity that's less than Barclays is now and less than half of what J.P. Morgan well, is posting. To, to the two of you, this is critical. Right. I was flabbergasted by 2022. Do they have that wait. time? It's a long time to wait, and let's let's be honest. There's not necessarily, um, you know, the equities cuts was clearly outlined, and it was telegraphed over the last week or so. But there's cuts that we may see that we're not seeing yet. For example, they they said that fixed income would have changes, but we don't know exactly besides rates where those changes are going to be. For example.